handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Sunday. It is the 12th of February 2023. Gonna look at the third race in Gulfstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the third race from Gulfstream, which is allowance optional claimer, purse $86,000. Race from Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards number one, 12,000 wins as the main claiming starter or state bred race, which never won um, uh, two races or claim price thirty five thousand. Field of nine horses going to the Goldstream Park Turf Course. The distance of ground here of twenty two hundred meters, if y'all want to go by that, or the mile three H trip on the Goldstream Park main track, twenty two hundred meters and mile three eighths. I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look down my notes. Just bear with me. My top selection here. I'm gonna go take the uh, number four horse, Blue Times. Let's go four seven one three in the Superfecta. Four seven one three Super. Top selection four horse, Blue Times. This uh, five year old mare by not this time. Uh, Danny Gargan trains one. Luis Saez gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the fourth of December at Goldstream. One mile and up to twenty five claimer. First off the bench, he finished ninth by eight and a quarter lengths that day. He just kind of stalked very wide. And he just never showed up. You know, I do think he runs better with the longer trip. He's going to get it today. He should sit a little closer, which is not the world's worst thing on this turf course. I think he get a good trip, and I think he could win here today. Two back in a lounge race at uh, Aqueduct, mile three, it's 25th of September. He finished six by six and a quarter lengths that day, and he set the pace that day, but then he got caught late. He just completely crumbled. Very wide poster. Probably got to him. Wasn't the day to win. Uh, but prior to that, in early September at, at Saratoga, mile three, 16th and Mellon in uh, a lounge race, 115,000. He um, finished third by one and a quarter lengths, and he set the pace that day. He got caught right before the wire, but again, he ran his heart out there. Nothing bad about that first race off the bench. His prior race before came 25th of March at Goldstream. Mile 16th off the turf on the Tapita and off to 25. He finished 9th by 14 half lengths. Was very, very, very rambunctious before the race. He hit the gate going out of it, and, you know, he just couldn't keep up late. Uh, but prior to that, he won, he won um, an allowance race here at Goldstream on the Tapita, going mile 16th by two lengths on the front and all throughout. Very good victory. Broke the main before that aqueduct on the turf course going a mile eighth in December 2021. Very, very easily again. Should get a good trip getting Saez back up who the horse um, has connected to two victories. His only two victories lifetime should be a, a plus. I'm going to use him here. Um, I think your second likeliest winner here is the seven horse en uh, ensemble. Brendan Walsh trains Javier Castellano gets mount. Hasn't been seen since the 18th of November. That came in Aqueduct at mile three eighths in a lounge race, uh, 90,000. And he finished third by five and three quarter lengths, but was placed second because the um, uh, the, the eventual, uh, the, the second place finisher came out of the top of the lane. And um, that, that was the horse that, that was the race where Trevor McCarthy got injured at the uh, the quarter pole. But this horse, you know, he, he just kind of stalked. You know, the winner was much the best because of the circumstances. But, you know, he, he ran his heart out there. Prior to that, over the mile three sixteen at Aqueduct, on the turf course and lounge race he finished second by one quarter length and was a little bit wide but again gaining there uh, i thought I, I think with every single race stateside he's definitely been getting better he's going to the mile three eights today he could sit a little close if he wants to i'm going to give him a shot here at seven to five also in the pick four uh but to recap my selection for the third from goldstream let's take the four horse blue times give kudos to the seven horse ensemble um four seven one three super four seven in your multi-race so good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing hit five good luck everybody